Okay, I just uh, I changed my mind on assigning the homework. So th these are the pages I want you to work uh, through, 27 to 30. It basically goes over everything we've done in this uh, chapter so far. I think I'm going to uh, skip the first page just to uh, make sure I get to the other part uh, because this is quite uh, quite simple. It's just writing out sets using proper notations, creating. Right here, I'm asking you to create sets, uh, different rules, right? And then we create our Venn diagrams. Notice that <clears throat> when you write out your your sets, you should be able to tell which ones are joint and which ones are disjoint. And you can even see that T exists inside of F, right? So it's actually a subset. So you have something like this. And then don't forget about listing all of your uh, outliers outside. So here where the numbers actually represent individual elements, not, <clears throat> not like we've been working on where it's like the number that appears is the number of elements, right? So we're actually listing them ind individually except for this number out here, right? There's four elements in M, eight elements in F and so forth. Um, is there anything else I need to talk about here? I don't know if on, in, on the, your copy, this is turned to an X, but I did turn it to that. So we have uh, the following sets and um, you just answer the questions as as it's presented and uh, <clears throat> here I guess it's worth mentioning right that you have uh, if you look carefully B is a subset of A because if you notice these three elements are also all found in A so you should have, so set B should be nested inside of A like that. But then you also notice that um, X and A, right, those two, they share a few elements, right? You've got the 2 and the 2, 4 and 4, 6 and 6, and so forth. And so those elements are shared between the two, so it kind of gets... A little ugly and then you obviously notice that three three is the one that you know is shared right across so yeah it, it this one was a tricky one where the three is shared here here and also with B but B is nested inside of a subset and here you have the elements that are not mentioned and they're they're outside uh, here because the universal is the in, uh, would all be all the integers from 1 to 15 so whatever hasn't been used can put it down there so it'd probably be a good idea to to state your universal um, before you do this can you then you can tell which elements have been used uh, and then I'm asking you to actually state the elements in each of the sets as depicted there and so for question four, that's on the next page for you guys. Um, so the key, sorry, it cut off a little bit. But on, on page four, <clears throat> there you have uh, 90 students were surveyed. It says, the question says that uh, 12 uh, play basketball and three curl. So there you have your 12 and your three. Um, and it says that 77 do not play basketball or curl, so that goes out here. So if you're still uh, not sure if these overlap or not, you can keep reading the questions and they, it B or, or C asks you how many students play basketball and curl. It could be zero, you could argue that, but if you just added these two numbers, Right, that's 15 uh, that already surpasses the 90 if you add uh, 12, 3, and 77. So those are uh, given to us. So naturally, you want to try to fill in as much as possible. 
and so the intersection is 3. Okay, I use pi here, I go 90 minus 77, um, and so forth. And yes, you get 0, which is okay, as long as we don't get a number uh, negative. This is just telling you that there, there's no um, student that is only curling. If they're curling, they're also in, in uh, basketball. Okay. So the crucial piece here is to figure out the center. I use pi for that, right? You take the universal minus the outliers, and then you go 12 and 3, because that's the formula. N of B plus N of C minus the intersection. And then you find out that it's 3. And now we can answer questions, right? B, how many students uh, play basketball or um, curl? And so you would just add up 9, 3, and 0. That's, uh, and, and so that's what you would get there. And I just realized as I was doing this that uh, there's a mistake, right? Because uh, if you take 15 away from both sides, this ends up being a negative 2. And so x should be 2, which means that this is 1. Okay, so my bad. I'm going to fix that. And maybe this is a good um, learning opportunity here because a learning opportunity, as I was saying, because if this is 2, then right, 3 minus 2 is 1. And here I have to go 12 minus 2, that's 10. Now if you add these up, that's 13. So we'll go 10 plus 2, plus 1, that's 13. And you know how I found out that this was wrong? Because you could also, the union of the two is found by going universal minus the outliers. And you can tell it's supposed to be 13. I wasn't getting 13. So there, I, so there should be ways of double checking, making sure you're doing this right. So I apologize, I, I won't edit this. So sorry guys. Uh, C, how many students uh, play basketball and curl? So B and C, that'd be three students, and we all know now that it's supposed to be two. We fixed it. Um, and then D, determine the number of students that played uh, that only played basketball. So that'd be 10. This is the only part right there. Change that to 10. Uh, this would be only curl, C not B. So that'd be one, one student there. And obviously that the S goes one student. And there you have it, okay? Um, and note, uh, this, this note does not apply anymore because uh, I was just gonna say, if this had been zero, if this indeed had been zero, if there's nothing that's only in this area, then C is effectively a, a subset of B, but that doesn't apply, right? So I'm just gonna conveniently wipe, uh, use my white out there. I was brushing a bit too much for that. But this video will fix it and I'll rescan it. And so you'll, whoever looks at the PDF will never know what happened there. Okay, five. So we have 38 students uh, in a math class to see uh, if they like colors blue or green. 12 did not like either one, so that's my, those are my outliers. 12 like both, so the and part is provided. Nine students uh, like only green, so this is nine right here. With that, so again, in this case, you end up with only this one section blank, right? We can go 12 plus nine, that's 21. To figure this one out, uh, what I do here is, uh, we go 38 minus 12, minus this 12 and minus nine. So basically take universal minus all the sections that I do know, 
to give me the five here, which is only like blue. Uh, and again, I would first say fill out the Venn diagram, then come up with the rest. So this would be five. I came up, up with that later. So this would be 17 here. And again, if you add everything up, you should get the 38. And by adding everything up, I mean the individual sections that are created by my Venn diagram, not these numbers up top, right? You can use them. For example, to speed this up, I'm just going to say 17 plus 9 plus 12, you get 38. But don't add 17 and 21 because you're double counting. <clears throat> um, what in the world happened here? I remember I gave you three different formulas and this is one of them when you just add up every chunk separately right you could have done it this way and still come up with five remember always to take away the uh, outliers from the universal so that's question five question six is where it gets interesting that's when you have your three uh, Venn diagrams. And uh, again, I'm just going over this uh, for you to practice at home. Obviously, you should, you're supposed to have tried this already. And so we have 33 uh, teenagers play sports, 18 have a job, 21 play in a band and play sports. So band is being added to the equation. So we have sports, a job, and band. But anyways, you have the and, the ands here, right? There's one there. You gotta watch out for that. Maybe I won't, I won't highlight just yet. But then you have band, and play sports. Have a job and band, J and B. Nine teenagers play sports, have a job, and play at the uh, in a band. That is your center. That's your middle. So that's the middle piece. So you know this is type one. It's going to be very helpful. Uh, Fifty-eight play sports or play in a band. Sixty-two uh, play in a band or have a job. So that's where you have your union. Um, Maybe you keep that for now until a bit later. Okay. So let's see what we can fill in. So we have sports, band, and a job. Right? So that's what we would start with. Uh, we know that this is 33. Um, to be on, uh, The 46 and the 44 is not given to us yet. Okay, but what do we know? We know that the center here is 9. That's what you would start with. So you put the 33 down, you put the 9, and you were told that uh, the teenagers that have a sports and a job, where is that? Sports and job, that's 18. That's right here. Have a job and play in a band is, uh, sorry, band and sports. Band meets sports, that's the 21 right there. And 28 have a plane, a band, and have a job. So that'd be here. So you go with those three numbers, right? These are intersections. They're all and. Okay. That's why the, the notation is like that. So you fill that in. Then you come up with this nine. And then you move out, right? So the intersection is this 21. You go 21 minus nine, that's 12. 18 minus 9 is 9, so remember this adds up to 18. These two sections add up to 28, and this adds up to 21. So here we go. You, you filled in these regions here, and then you move out to the bigger circle. The most logical to go next is this one because you do know the 33. So I just go ahead and subtract these three numbers from the big one here, and you end up with 3 there. Now you've gone as far as you could with what you were given. Then you go to the next one here, sports or play. There I'm going to use a color for that one. 58 people uh, play sports or play in a band. So that would be this, these two, the union of these two. Okay. And 
and um, how did I use that? I would have, in this particular case, I have to pause it there for a bit, sorry. Nobody came in here. Um, you will see that I do all kinds of fancy stuff out here. I am using Pi with, with these two here, okay? But don't let this overwhelm you. This is using the formula. Some of you might be formula people. But to an, another way to get this number would simply be to, um, and I showed you that on the example in the class, would simply be to uh, use the 58. So I'm going to clear my screen. 58, that's the union here, minus 33. So you take away the 33, minus that 19 there. You'd still come up with 6. So if you come up with 6, it basically doesn't matter how you get there. Now that I know, that I know the 6, I can just add up all these numbers, these four numbers, and come up with the 46. Okay, that's how I did that. And then next, I'm going to use the next, uh, the or that I was given here, the 62, that play in a band or have a job. So that'd be these two here. So you basically are focusing on this union right here. Oops, sorry, I should have done this. So that union, the green part. So again, to get the seven, probably the best way to do it is just knowing, hey, there's 62 in there. I'm gonna take away the 46, right? You take away this whole part here, and then minus nine, that piece right there. So you end up with seven as well. And now you filled everything in. You add all these four numbers to come up with 44. And there you have it. Don't forget about your outliers. Okay. That is, you cannot forget. So what we do, right, is we go 100, which is, uh, this is we were told 100, right? Way up here, 100 teenagers were surveyed. So we just go uh, to, to come up with our outliers, we just go 100 minus 33, minus 6, 19, and 7. So you're left with 35. Okay, that's how I got my outliers. And uh, the, the last, uh, the question, the ultimate question in this case is determine the number of students that only participate in one thing. And that would be simply put these numbers out here those students only participate in one thing. So that's the explanation for this question. Again, start somewhere, fill in your Venn diagram. Carefully work your way out and always double check, does it make sense? Do my numbers make sense, right? Like especially these, these the ands, make sure you don't put that number in there. That will change later on. When it says and, right, have a job and play in a band, but not, they don't participate in sports, then we're talking specifically just to this section here. So if you come across that, that's what we mean there. Okay. Next. Last one. Don't give up. Just keep practicing. Okay. Here we go. So we have our survey. 24 walk cycle or drive, so we know that the union is 24. Um, no U set is given, so there are no outliers. We're just gonna make that assumption, okay? To be honest, it should have said all of them um, use at least one mode of transportation, to be honest, like I should have said that. 13 walk, 12 cycle, 10 drive. And then you have a bunch of intersections given. So you start your Venn diagram, right? Work, car, or cycle, and drive. You fill out your intersections here, and you'll find out that the middle is not provided. So that's type two. No middle section given is type two. So 
we go with this formula, which is the pi, this is pi for three sets. So you go universal minus outliers, which right, we don't, uh, we, we're not told that uh, we, we are not given the universal, so we're just assuming everybody's in one of these sets. Uh, and then 13, 12, and 10, you add up these numbers, you subtract all the intersections all around, and you add the center, you clean it up, you end up with x being one, right? One student uses all three modes of transportation. You plug this back in here and then fill out the rest. Right, this has to be three, this has to be five, this has to be one, because combined it gives you the intersection. Now you can figure out the rest. If you have all three numbers, you subtract those three numbers from 13, you get six. You do the same thing here, you get three and you get five. Um, how many students only use one form of, of travel or transportation, right? Again, we just do these ones. Another wording would be use exactly one form of transportation. Exactly one would be these ones here. How many use exactly two? It'd be these numbers right here. Okay, so forth. How many students use all three forms of travel? And that would be one right here. One student does all three. I hope this helped. See you next time.